connected with the emotional reaction from Mallory's friends. Scotty. Mallory Teague's friends, co workers, and loved ones tell me there will never be another Mallory, and that's why they want to see something done to this roadway so that someone else doesn't have to go through the loss that they're feeling. She was the brightest sunshine you've ever seen. She could light up a room the second she walked into it, and it didn't matter if you knew her or not. In two seconds, you fell in love with her. Keisha Syak says she dated Mallory Teague for three years and says she still can't believe she's gone and blames it on a freak summer storm. We've lost one of the world's finest women. It was a downpour that kind of came out of nowhere. Keisha says she was in love. She says she met Mallory five years ago and the two worked together at Texas Roadhouse in Decatur. Her co-workers are now supporting her, knowing the two had an inseparable bond. Anybody who knows Mallory knew me. <laughs> Anybody who knew me knew Mallory. Decatur police say Mallory hydroplaned Wednesday afternoon and hit a car in oncoming traffic. She then was hit by a Morgan County District 1 truck. Her death is the second to happen on this particular stretch of Point Mallard Parkway in just a month, and that's why Keisha wants to see something done. But that road is dangerous, and you need to be careful, and changes need to be made because you can get into that oncoming traffic so easily. In the meantime, she's holding on to her memories. She was the best. She was one of a kind. There's never going to be another Mallory. And knows Mallory is in a better place. I know that she is just up there rejoicing with Jesus right now. Now, another person who was hurt in the crash is expected to be okay, and Texas Roadhouse officials tell me they will be helping pay for Mallory's burial expenses. Reporting live in Decatur, Scotty K, Way 31 News. Thank you, Scotty. The mayor of Decatur took to Facebook to share his condolences to the families involved in the wreck. In his post, Mayor Tab Bowling says action needs to be taken as traffic counts rise. He called for a, quote, open friction course paving, which allows water to drain away from the roadway, making it safer. He says the federal government could be the primary resource for funding that change.